Okay, I mentioned this to a couple of people, and I thought everybody knew about these, but uh, but apparently they don't. So I just decided to make one because I mean, why the hell not, right? So this is a flower pot heater. It's gonna be right. Um, gotta get ceramic flower pots with holes in them, preferably. Now these holes are way bigger than the quarter inch hardware that I chose to use. I had to drill this hole and it's not perfectly centered. Um, whatever, it is what it is. My little tiny drill press didn't have enough room for that. I got the little tiny guy because usually the shit I work on is like microscopic, you know. Um, this time it kind of bit me in the ass. I, you could use a hand drill, but I'll tell you, um, I'd use three different bits for this. Dude, it's hard to drill through this ceramic stuff without, you know, destroying it. Uh, little spoiler alert, I filled this with liquid and uh, I kept splashing the liquid in as I was going. It makes the drilling a lot better. It stops the drill bit from heating up too much, but you all know how to do that. And uh, if you need to ask me about it, frankly, I'm disappointed in you and you're full of dishonor. But a uh, piece of quarter inch thread rod, okay? This is gonna be the, the guts of the operation. Then I got a bunch of washers. Um, the examples that you see online, they use a lot of nuts and stuff, but I just, for the last few days that I was thinking about this, I just picked up all the washers that the idiots that uh, pick stuff where I work. Sorry if anybody that I work with watches this, but uh, when they repair shit, they just leave screws and sharp nails and all kinds of shit laying around that has made my tire warranty more than pay for itself about a thousand times. Um, but yeah, they leave these washers that you can use for a whole plethora of shit, and I'm going to cash in on that today. So, I bought these. I bought these parts specific. I didn't want to inherit old problems, so I bought a few new nuts, and uh, got a joiner here, because I'm going to try to put this on the top so I could hang it, you know. I imagine having a bunch of tea lights down here on the floor, you probably don't want to just sit in there so some fucking retard can kick it over and burn down your shit, hit the fan bug out. That'd probably be a bad idea. So I'm trying to retard proof it as I go. Okay, so I got a nut and a washer, a washer and a nut. I'm gonna push this thread rod through the bottom and this should be sitting straight up in the air, right? All right, so it looks something like that. I think I might get a few more threads on that bottom piece because it looks like it backed off a little bit. Um, this guy, this will be the most fragile part here. That's why I wanted to capture it in two of the washers uh, just to spread the tension. And I, I want to take it in a little on the bottom. I don't want to thread it too much you know, you couldn't just set this on the ground as it is, so I don't want it to stick out even more. But if this thing breaks and it's got candles on it, pretty much screwed. That's why my whole idea is to hang this thing. That's ideally what I want to do here, but we'll see what happens. Well, you're wondering how far down to go. Well, me too, to be honest. Well, here's my theory, okay? Uh, this nut here is where it begins. So from that point on is where these flower pots encapsulating themselves are going to start. That would give enough space that if you're in an enclosed area, it'll still give off light, but it's far down enough that it'll capture the heat coming up from one or more of the tea lights, the candles that we're going to use, you know. Um, probably, I could probably go closer if it was just for heat, period, but I figure giving it a little bit of standoff space like this kind of gives it a little bit of both, you know. Um, we'll go for that. We could always lower all this shit as we go, you know. I mean, it's, you're not like married to it. It's, I got, I'm probably going to have to take a grinder to this and cut it down, actually. I might not. I might wait, you know. Uh, you know, Met TC is everyone saying these days. My God, I wish no one ever heard that phrase before because it's all you ever hear now, but you get the point. Uh, so here's the theory, right? Um, let, let's go over the theory real quick so you know what I'm doing. All right, so in a nutshell, uh, ceramic will absorb and radiate heat, okay? Your metal 
steel, metal, whatever the case may be, right? Um, it will also accept heat almost to the same temperature that the material can accept it. So, um, you know, a, a tea light, a candle going off, let's, let's call it 600 degrees maybe, right? Um, you might be able to get about 500 out of this metal, give or take. I'm, I'm guessing here, but you know, it'll get hot enough that it'll burn the shit out of you, right? Um, so this, these things put it spaced out in here, as you'll see later, it'll absorb the heat, this, and it'll reflect the heat. This will absorb and radiate the heat and we're going to space them out and we're going to have enough of these in here. We might even use all of them. I don't know. I mean, I've, all the, the pictures that you see, they're using nuts and stuff, and uh, that's great because it takes up space and everything. And uh, I went the cheap route because that's what I always do. So I, I really, we're kind of in uncharted territory there. But uh, so the heat from the tea lights will go into the first one. It'll heat that up. As it heats up, the heat will spill out and go into the next one. This will get hot. It'll spill out and go into the next one and it'll get hot. Now heat might spill out of the bottom and it'll start radiating heat as it, this gets to a higher temperature. This will become a space heater. And uh, if you're already gonna be burning candles for light, uh, you might as well make one of these because you can get a double function out of your candle light source. And you can make it a cutesy little like live, laugh, love kind of looking uh, display here. You can make them a lot prettier than what I'm doing and make it actually kind of like furniture, you know. Um, I don't know. You, you guys do whatever you do. I, I'm just making one. I don't really give a shit. All right. So, I mean, I've used a lot of these precious washers here, but see this uneven shape? We want that so that it captures the heat and spits it out. God, I want it to focus on it. There we go. Um, this sort of mismatch that we got going on. I put all the thicker ones. See how that one on the bottom's really thick there? Uh, this one is kind of going to be the most important one. This is the first chamber, you know? So all the ones that I kind of went, ooh, I like that one, I put those in this one. Uh, this one will do the most work. Okay, so there's the inside. Uh, I actually could have went down a little more, to be honest. Um, yeah, that's, that's about level right there. This camera angle is really challenging, and I apologize, but uh, yeah. So the, it's not full, but yeah, maybe, maybe that works out for the better here as we go, you know. You can see it's not a, it's not totally flush, but I, I think it's gonna be good enough. Maybe that space will give the heat a little time to simmer down, you know. Or maybe I screw the whole thing up. Hard to say. Okay, so uh, you can see that we got the same thing going on here. Kind of arranged stuff, sort of crazy in there. Um, and then I set it down to where. It's a little less than flush, uh, just a little bit. I don't know if it should be perfectly flush or not, but that's what I came out with. So that's what I'm going with. I don't know. It seems like an acceptable degree to me. So it's staying. Okay, so here's what we're looking at here. Uh, this thing's hanging pretty low. That might actually be right. I don't know. I don't know where this is going to end up, but I kind of like the length on it right now. It keeps it low. You know, hot air rises and all. But, uh, but yeah. So, this is kind of what we're looking at here. <clears throat> and the, uh, all the heater magic is, of course, in all those metal washers that I used. And, uh, those are in there. So, put your tea lights in here. Heat goes up. And it does its thing it becomes a space heater so the next time I say yeah you can make a tea light here and somebody goes what never heard of that I can say here watch this video kind of why I made this because it's kind of hard to explain you know <laughs>